of a grateful country to present you with the Distinguished Service Medal for gallant and courageous service above and beyond the call of duty. Adjutant, dismiss the battalion. Battalion dismissed. Terry, that was great. Oh, cut it out. What do you want to do? Give me the swell head? Oh, you should have a swell head. Get another medal, you'll sink. How many have you got now? Too many. Hello, Jean. Hello, Terry. Hello, Jim. Hello, Jean. Oh, isn't it lovely? I've just written the grandest story about this. Hold it, folks, hold it. Now, Terry, you've got to listen to what I've written. All right. Lieutenant Terry Kent of the Coast Guard displayed courage, judgment, and resourcefulness in saving hundreds of lives in the face of overwhelming odds. How's that for a front-page story? If I were your editor, I'd fire you for gross exaggeration. <laughs> Say, when do we eat? That's not a bad idea. Let's eat. Lieutenant Kent, a message from Commander Boyle, sir. That's all. Sorry, Gene. My leave's been canceled. I'm due in Commander Boyle's office in 30 minutes. Jim, I'm afraid you'll have to do the honors. Will I? It's a pleasure. Hey, what about me? All right, all right. Come on, Snapper. So long, Lieutenant Kent. Lieutenant Kent? The Air Patrol reports an unregistered private yacht lying off the 12-mile limit. See to it that she doesn't communicate with shore except through authorized channels. Yes, sir. There she is. Follow it. trying to chase them in this fog. What about?
Wait here for me. You have just had a visual demonstration of what the civilized world considers modern warfare. I'll now give you an idea of what the new disintegration gas will do for the country possessing it. Owing to the limited amount of gas we've been able to manufacture, the demonstration will necessarily be brief. But, gentlemen, it will be sufficient to prove it is of definite value in organized warfare. Watch. The men you see are equipping the plane with several of these specially prepared bombs, the total weight of which is little more than 10 pounds. The plane in the picture could easily carry several hundred times the weight of those few bombs, enough to completely destroy any of the world's largest cities, New York, London, Paris, or Berlin. The disintegration gas is so destructive it may only be compressed into glass chambers. Behold the power of the disintegrating gas. The entire demonstration took place within eight minutes. This disintegration gas looks like the handiwork of Borov. If I didn't have reason to believe Borov dead, I would say he was in back of it. Were Borov alive, he wouldn't dare show his face in this country. Who is the man behind this? I'm unable to disclose his identity, gentlemen. Let it be sufficient to state that the gas is available for your country, should you decide to close the deal. I'm certain we can come to terms. But my government would feel more confidence if it knew the identity of the man with whom it is dealing. I'm sorry, I may disclose that. Explain to us the nature of this disintegration gas. The gas is radioactive. Its base is the mineral, arnotite. Arnotite? <laughs> but arnotite is only found in the United States. One great chemical company owns it. Because arnotite is used so extensively in chemical warfare, the United States government controls its sale or shipment to other countries. We already possess the supply of arnotite, and we are prepared to smuggle it into your country where the gas can be manufactured. Laura, no doubt you've heard that the emissaries from Morovania have accepted your proposition. I shall make preparations to leave at once. Start the Napoleon brandy. I think the occasion demands a toast. Clumsy fool. This time tomorrow night, we'll find me and the cargo of Arnotite bound for Moravania aboard the SS Carfax.
me, Lieutenant Kent. Lieutenant Kent. Yes, sir, at once. I suggest a shore rescue. Yes, sir. What is it? Oh, nothing. Some action. Yes, but you can't go. <laughs> Come on, Jim. There's a tramp aground at Cape Dune.
Fletcher! Jim! 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 Authorities will go to the wreck, discover that the kerosene on board the Carfax is not kerosene, but anodyne, being smuggled to Moravania. Besides, what about the agreement? Moravania will expect you to deliver the gas. You've already received money. Thug would like to cut my throat, wouldn't you, Thug? And why shouldn't he? He's never forgiven you for mutilating his mind. <laughs> Go ahead, Thug. Cut my throat. I never saw fear and love, dumb loyalty and consuming hate in such violent opposition in a single human. Thug isn't human, but he can be very useful. No one would know it. I have a great deal to accomplish. The Carfax is going to be investigated tomorrow and the Arnotide board must not be discovered. Here are my plans. something concerning Borough. I'll bring him to justice if it's the last thing I do. What do you make of it? It looks like the dredge near Boyer's Wharf, sir. Sound recall. All hands stand by for fire duty. We'll proceed there at once. Yes, sir. That's the recall. I'll have to return to the patrol boat at once. What does that mean? Something's up. I won't know till I get there. Oh, Terry. That doesn't mean I have to go ashore, does it? Certainly not. Stay as long as you like. Take care of yourself.
done nothing, mister. Honest. Now listen, I've got connections.
Driver, what's happened? Where's Gene? This ship will slide off the reef and sink at any moment. There's a madman. Keep firing rockets to call the Coast Guard. Gene. Gene. Terry. Are you all right? Down here and can't get out. I'll get a rope. As soon as I locate the hatch, we'll dive for it. Swim out and up, there we'll be. Yeah, yes, but how are we going? I'm a ship, sir. back yet, mister, please. I got a hunch. It's our only chance, Gene. Stay close to me and hang on to your breath as long as you can. Ready? anything of a half-mad giant. He's responsible for what's happened. Mad giant? Why no? Come with me.
Come in. Hi, Dick. Hi, Jerry. Hello. Hi, sis. Snapper. Hi. I suppose it's too soon to ask if you found out anything about Borov. No. Not yet. But he'll pay for my brother's murder. We think we might have a clue. I found these in Borov's cabin before the Carfax was sunk. Hmm. They're all soaked, all right. Well, they were written on, but the ink's all washed off. And we thought you might be able to reproduce the writing. Well, let's see what we can do. I tell you, I won't do it. Disintegration gas. I won't make it. Why should we step outside the law to make a living? Because poor off asked us to? My partner and I have a good business. We don't need you. I'm no longer known as Borov. The name is now Anderson. But I am still Borov. Perhaps you don't know what to expect when you refuse me. I think it'll be better, maybe, if we do what he asks. Maybe you're afraid of him, but I'm not. You can work for him if you want to. I'm getting out of here. accepted my proposition. Here are the chemicals employed in making the gas. Arnotite? Over 40% is arnotite. Where will you get enough of that valuable mineral? I have all that will be necessary. The Carfax was loaded with arnotite when it went down at that point. This afternoon, my men will move your laboratory equipment from here to a place I have in mind at this point. I'll start packing the equipment immediately. All the tiny invisible scratches are now filled with silver nitrate. The bright light turns them black. G. A. Rackerby, 210 Ocean Street. What are all those little circles and stars there? <laughs> Looks like Borup was a doodler. Get him one of those fellows that scratches on a pad of paper when he's thinking. Rackerby, 210 Ocean Street. What do you suppose this Rackerby is? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. You wait here for me. I'd like to speak with Mr. G.A. Rackerby. That's me. I'm Lieutenant Kent of the United States Coast Guard. How do you do, Lieutenant? How do you do? Uh, won't you sit down, please? Thank you. What brings you here, Lieutenant? A special assignment in which I thought you might be of great aid to me. I'm looking for Borov. Borov? Borov, isn't he that foreign spy and munitions king that everyone thought was dead? Yeah, I read about Borov, but I do not know him. Why do you come to me? 
Someone's have to borrow. I came here, Mr. Rackerby, because written upon some note paper among Borov's effects was your name and address. My name? But why should Borov write down my name? That's what I came here to find out. I hope you're telling the truth, Mr. Rackerby, when you tell me you know nothing of Borov. Oh, what else can I say? Why he writes my name down, I can't tell you. If I see or hear of him, I certainly will be glad to... Who drew these? I... I don't... I can tell you. Borov drew them. If you don't mind, I'll take a look around. You weren't planning to leave suddenly, were you? We must hurry and get the launch loaded. Here, put this aboard. There. I guess that'll take care of you. Get that case nailed up. One of my customers. You better not answer it. Yeah, let it ring. It's a good thing Boro sent a cabin lunch. I hate to answer inspections for a lot of this stuff. so I thought I'd get you. It is a code. Cleveland Council of 8th District, urgent. to see ball off, Sonny Boy. We're going to take you right to him. I'll 
I'll take Rackaby in my car and see you at the plant. Trained on Collins slip, Lieutenant. Aye, sir. There's a cabin launch leaving the slip now, sir. Let me see. Lay a shot across her bow. Coast Guard friends think they can stop me. Eve too, or they'll blow you out of the water. I don't scare easy, see? Don't be a sap. You can't get away with it. Still trying to get away, sir. Gun captain, finish that boat. Take Rackaby in my car and see you at the plant. Your glass is trained on Collins slip, Lieutenant. Aye, sir. There's a cabin launch leaving the slip now, sir. Let me see. Lay a shot across our bow.
Coast Guard friends think they can stop me. These two of them blow you out of the water. I don't scare you, you see. Don't be a sap. You can't get away with it. She's still trying to get away, sir. Got away, but don't put that in your paper, Jean. What are you planning to do now? Washington has notified us that Maura Vaney is sending an emissary to see Borov. We're watching every port of entry. You're going to trail him to Borov? Right. I'll never rest until I bring Borov to justice for my brother's murder. All right, now, people, hold that picture. Oh, boy, well, it's like a great picture. <laughs> This help plant is ideal. For our purpose, it is. How quickly can you get the disintegration gas into production? As soon as the equipment is set up. Hmm, it'll do nicely. However, I can't produce the gas without Arnotype. How are you going to salvage it from the sunken ship? The Coast Guard will be on the alert. The Coast Guard are fools. We outwitted them at every stage of the game. So stop worrying about them. Thorpe will get the Arnotype for us.
man swimming along toward shore. Lower away the launch and we'll pick him up. That man cut loose the Carfax. himself of that net. How soon will you be finished? here this afternoon. How will you get him past the Coast Guard? I have everything arranged. A man will be escorted by steam aboard SS Toronto. I'll ask you to take care of this, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Fast run to me. What's up, sir? A man on the steamer Toronto has been scalded. We're to bring him in. Yes, sir. don't know. Is he badly hurt? You know as much about that as I do. He's been unconscious. I'll have to go to the hospital to complete my report. Good, I'll drive you. Thanks. Shall we go now? No, wait a minute till I telephone a report to the commander. You want to ride the hospital with us, Snapper? No, I'll go on the ambulance. You can't ride in here. Well, why not? I always have. I'll let him ride. Okay. What's that?
wrong. They know of no such call. But the ambulance. Doesn't belong to this hospital. Then Snapper's in danger. from Moravenia, escorted into the country by the Coast Guard. <laughs> Mr. Crow, he delighted. This is Mr. Ackbury, my chemist. I'm happy to know you. Were you successful with the gas? Very. With your method of enclosing it in glass, we can start quantity production at once. I have everything ready for you. Glass is the only material the gas doesn't affect. We'll put the dog in the cabinet, and the gas will completely disintegrate him. I suppose you'll be wanting to get to work immediately. Hey, Sergeant. See anything of an ambulance from the Mercy Hospital? Yes, one passed by here, went up Lion Street. Thanks. Right, Don't be afraid. Yes? What did you want us to do with that newspaper photographer? Bring him in. You won't use the dog. Take him. Hey, buddy. Yes, sir. You see an ambulance pass here? Yeah, it went down the street and turned to left. Thank you. Hey, what is this, a game? My friend, you have been chosen to give your life for science. Not me, mister. I ain't interested in science. Some other time, maybe. Put him in the cabinet. That old hotel looks deserted. These tracks are still wet. Let's go down and have a look. Of course, these small pellets are merely for test purposes. Their effect is limited. However, the system will work for larger quantities. It will be a very interesting experiment. I have a hunch that ambulance is somewhere around here. Wait for me.
Come on, back up. All right, Snapper. Oh, Gene, race this pellet to Dick's laboratory. I want to find out more about it. Careful, it contains a deadly gas. Right. Oh, boy! I finally found it, my camera. Hey, Terry! Say you are, you're coming with me. Terry! 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 Oh, Terry! I've knocked my brains out! Terry! I definitely saw this Coast Guard officer came pick up the glass pellet and place it in his pocket. The one I threw in the room must have finished him. But it didn't, sir. He got away. Yeah, and he captured one of our men. The gas must be recovered. We must find out where Kent has taken it. This newspaper reporter, Jean Norman, she could give us the information we want. Dad, locate her to the office of the Chronicle and bring her to me at the uh, Stone Street place. Terry said it was filled with a deadly gas and that he wanted to find out more about it. Hmm. A gas bomb is a dangerous thing to pry into. And I... I guess I better put it in here till Terry shows up. Well, I've got to get back to my paper. Promise me you'll let me know what you find out. Okay, sis. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, Terry, what's 
Norman? Yes. Miss Jean Norman of the Chronicle? Yes. Lieutenant Kent asked me to find you. Terry, is he... Well, oh, he's quite all right. He wanted me to find you and bring you to him. Something extremely important, he said. Get in. Thank you. Not a very pretty place, is it? The lieutenant said you wouldn't hesitate about coming, though. Is this on the level? Why, of course it is. Uh, dear young lady, I... This is on the level, Mr. Dodds. I'll apologize. Lead the way. I say, this is rich, you know. Wait till the lieutenant sees me coming back at the point of a gun. And the joke will be on me. Right, oh. No, you don't. You first this time. A deadly gas in a pellet just like this one disintegrated an entire room. It nearly did for years, truly. Glass seems to be the only thing it won't affect. I have to work carefully. Well, that's up to you, Dick. This sort of thing's a little out of my line. I won't tell you. You can't make me tell you. Where was that glass pellet taken? You'll never find out. You can't get away with this. I have another plan. We'll put her in the room with the old desk. Get out. We're going to lock you up while we get that Coast Guard, Lieutenant. One of you will talk. Maybe it'll be you to save him. Go on. Sterling 3788, quickly. Hello, operator. Operator. Sterling 3788. Snapper, answer that telephone. Hello? This is the Empire Chemical Supply Company. In going through our file, we find we have mislaid the address of the Norman Laboratories. Would you be so kind as to give it to me? It's 9925 Elm Street. You got that? That. Go to that address and get that gas pellet. They have started to work on it. Destroy what they have done. I don't need to tell you what to do to that interfering Coast Guardsman. Get going. Ford, Weiss. Careful, that stuff will explode. <laughs> Impossible. I've got it reduced to its liquid form. This is the 
place. All right, if we could break in through the basement. What was that? Sounded like something in the basement. Go take a look, Snapper, see what it is. Oh, now listen, Terry, I don't go want to... Go on, go on. Somebody's coming. Who's there? settles. I know the secret of this gas. How long will that take? Watch. It's doing it now. What a shame your experiment will never be finished. You made a mistake when you thought you could interfere with war off, mister. Terry! 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 I know, Terry, but there's another man. Go on, I am a high. Get rope out of that cabin, Snapper. That's all right, Dick. We'll leave these men and go for the police. Leave them? Hadn't I ought to stay here and watch? No, come on, we're all leaving. Yeah, Terry, but what about the guy down in the basement? You heard me, we're going. Come on. What's up? Those men will be loose inside of ten minutes. That's just what I want. Well, I don't get it. Look, this is Jean's gun. That means Boroff must have her prisoner somewhere. And our only hope is to trail them to find out where. Oh, I see your plan. Hurry up! Hurry up! We've got to get out of here. They've gone for the police. You and Snapper notify the police and trail the car if you can. But don't let them suspect that you're following them. on that disintegrating gas. Good. Still got the girl? Yeah. I got a swell job being a jailer for a girl. <laughs>
there, Jean? Come on.
his car. Be much we can find out about Boris disintegrating gas now. Well, I can tell you this. I used Zanzoid in making it. Zanzoid? Yeah, it comes from Asia. There isn't much of it around. Ought to be easy to trace. This is the reply from Honolulu to my cable. Not much help. The Honolulu Exporting Company received a shipment of Zanzoid two days ago. They have a general cargo sailing on the Atomic tomorrow night, but no Zanzoid is listed. Perhaps they've disguised it as something else. If the cargo could be inspected... We can't hold up a ship just on suspicion. If I take the clipper for Honolulu, I could be there before the Atomic sailed. It's an idea. See, Captain, it would help immensely. Glad uh, to cooperate. Thank you. Bellum, come up the bridge. Here's my copper clock. Been with me a long time now. Yes, sir. It's Lieutenant Kent of the Coast Guard. He's going to help me. But I can handle this alone. The Lieutenant here thinks maybe there's something strange. Extra for code. It's from Berden, our man on the Atomic. Kent of the Coast Guard is assigned to help him. Kent? For our Zanzoid is on the Atomic. I've got to have it. Without it, I can't make the disintegration gas. Do you think he's wise to us using that ship? I don't know, but I'm going to settle with him for the last time. The Adamic will be off Cape Variance late Thursday afternoon. Negaro. That's the Adamic. Get in the small boat. on a small craft of fire. Get to that smoke.
fire broke out in the engine room. Lucky we happened along. Have the steward take care of them. The engines have stopped. See what's happened. Reach for it, wise guy. Come on up the ladder. Captain Johnson. Calling Captain Johnson. Bridge, Captain Johnson speaking. Go ahead. Sir, we intercepted an SOS message from the Adamant. What's the position? Don't know exactly, sir. The message was interrupted. I can't raise him. The direction was from approximately north, 32 degrees west, sir. Thank you. Keep tuned in. Aye, aye, sir. Change course to north, 32 degrees west. Full speed ahead. Aye, aye, sir.
take the rest of the men, round up the crew and bring them here. I'll see that we get all the Zanzoids. down the wheel. above. Go set the engine at full speed ahead. Tie down the safety valve.
Take the launch and go aboard her. Have been hurt? No, they're all right. What happened? The boilers exploded. I better go and see what damage was done. I'll give you the details. Is it one of Borov's men? Yes. What has happened proves that Borov is making the disintegrating gas somewhere near here. I'll question him when he comes to. Now hold it. Hold it for a picture there. Oh, boy, well, this us make a great picture. Now, Clyde, hold it. Is this going to be a honey? Now hold it, people. Hold it. Oh, boy. This disintegrating gas will travel by train to Canada tomorrow to be shipped to Moravania from there. The Coast Guard is so busy watching American seaports, a railroad station will never be suspected. It's clever smuggling the gas in night boats. But care must be taken should one of them break. Which station do we ship from? Pierport. Special goes through tomorrow afternoon. Well, what if this man the Coast Guard took to the hospital talks? He is not going to. Torg will go to the hospital. Consciousness just a moment ago. Where is Borov? Only dispose of the disintegrating gas. Pier. Yes. What pier? Tomorrow. Port. Pier. Close. Close, 
guard officer Kent is hanging on the back. I'll pull over to the side. Got to take it. Front seat and drive back to town. All he said before he was knifed was pier, tomorrow, and port. As if he was trying to give me the number and location of some dock. That doesn't give us a great deal to go by. No. Commander Boyle speaking. Just a minute. Lieutenant Kent. Hiya, Terry. Say, gonna be at court this afternoon? I want to get a picture of you of that murder you captured. Good. I'll meet you there. As soon as I snap a picture of Jacob Manning, the explorer. Yeah. He's passing through Pierport on a special pretty soon now. All right, I'll see you later. Pier. Port. Pier port. It's a small railroad station. That's what the man was trying to tell me. They must be shipping the gas by train. Sounds logical. Get me the station master at Pier port. Hurry up. Hurry up. Yes? Special train at three. Thanks. It's 210 now. Sir, if you'll phone for a detail of police to meet me at Pierport, I'll fly there at once. Right. Get me the police department. Will you, Grandpa? What do you mean, Grandpa? I run this place, and if I don't want you here, out you go. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Say, is the train on time? No, it ain't on time. Oh. What are you doing? Take it easy. Be careful, will you? Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. Can you tell me anything about the freight that's leaving here? Sure, I can tell you all about it. Beans, mostly. Outside the express. Oh, yes, and there's a load of dynamite going up to the mine. And here's a shipment of electric light bulbs. Electric light bulbs, huh? This man tell you all about the bulbs. He's handling it. Uh, can I help you? Yes, I want to see what's in these cartons. All right, I'll open one up for you. These were being shipped by motor van when the truck broke down near here. We we're rushing them through by rail. Okay. I think I'll take a look at those beans. Yeah, well, 
I had to knock my camera off. These globes is missing. Say, one of those light globes is missing. Do you know anything about it? No, I don't. Napper, do you know anything about this? Oh, yeah. I had it. Well, come on, where is it? Well, uh, I don't know. Well, tell me, where is it now? Tell me what you did with that light globe. You see, it isn't the light globe so much as uh, that I'm responsible for them. You understand? Yes. I think I do understand. Come on, come on! Well, uh, I... Uh, I remember. I put it on my camera. He seems to think an awful lot of that light globe. Yes. Everything's all right. Bring out the rest of it. There's another bulb you overlooked. Oh, thanks, sir. Thanks a lot. Do you mind very much if I drop this? Oh, it's only an electric light globe. But there's no use in destroying it. I wonder. You fool!
later on. Come on, let's get him up out of here. All right, I'm all right. Get back. has been destroyed. Send dog in. The Coast Guard must be closing in on us. We'll have to salvage the rest of the Arnotite as quickly as possible. Torg, you'll dive day and night until all the Arnotite is taken from the Carfax. Another boat will stand by to help. in these boxes we're dragging out of the ocean. What do you care? You're getting paid, aren't you? Well, I'm afraid it can't be done, Dick. No, we'll have to make it some other time. So long. Can he go? No. He's got to investigate some boat. The Sea Wolf, I think. The Sea Wolf? She's a notorious ex-smuggler. What happened? Well, Terry said she was chartered last night for some mysterious mission. Tied up now at the Webster Dock. I'm going there. Come on, sir. Harry! I was looking for you. Dick told me you'd be here. The hallway the reporter, huh? You better stay here, Jean. There may be trouble. Watch your step, man. Hello, Parson. What was the Sea Wolf doing last night? Just cruising around. Cruising around, eh? Mind if I look you over? Help yourself. I got nothing to hide. See you along. Yeah. Ah! What? Hey! 
supply a strong diver with sufficient oxygen to allow him to work the cargo. All right, but examine the carbacks. It must be done secretly, though, sir. It would never do to let them know we're suspicious. I'll send a diver. But I am familiar with the interior of the carfax. I'd like to do the diving myself. Very well, Kent. But don't place any trust in that air pocket. Use self-contained diving gear. Yes, sir. Well, you're ready to shove off, huh? Right. That fog is rolling in pretty fast. It's going to be tough. Yeah, well, we'll make it all right. Good luck, Terry. Thanks. Come on, men. Step on. Heading for the Carfax. They can hear us. Kill it.
make this look like an accident and then head for shore. All right, let's go.
Get the diving gear. Shoot the helmet. seems to lead to the kelp plant. The kelp plant? Yes, that cargo wasn't moved all in one day. It took time. That kelp cutting boat has been working around there for several weeks. What do you think you're going to do? I'm going to take some pictures of that kelp plant. Oh, you can't do that. You'll make everybody suspicious. If there is anything... Wait a minute. That might not be such a bad idea. Gene, you can help me. Well... Call the kelp plant and ask them for an interview. Can I phone from here? Certainly. Very well, Miss Norman. We expect you about 10 o'clock. No trouble at all, I assure you. We're always glad to cooperate with the press. Newspaper reporters coming here? They merely want to write an article about the plan. If we didn't let them in, they might get suspicious. But the gas only on the... This time. will be a legitimate care plan by the time they get here. Well, that's all of it. Close the door. All right, that looks pretty good, but you better pile some of these boxes in front of it to make sure. What do we do with the Zarnatite on the loading truck? Cover it up with kelp, then get out of sight. Right. Dog, you come with me. These cans were overlooked. We can't leave the Zarnatite here. Why not? It's kerosene, if anyone asks. You and Thorg stay out of sight. You'd be recognized. They might know you too, even without your beard. Those fools will never penetrate my disguise. Mr. Sloan will take you around to the kelp dock. 
I join you there in a few minutes. right through the cans and show on the film. Hold it. No, no. Don't take that. I mean, those cans make a bad background for a picture. If the photographer is satisfied, I'm sure I have no objection. Something I'm going back. You think it's safe? That's not the point. If I can sneak in without being seen, I may be able to find out what they're up to. The Arnotite, those cans, they photographed them. What of? They will just look like cans. No, no. The Arnotite. It's radioactive. It'll show on the film right through the cans. that photographer and destroy those films. Take someone with you and meet me outside. Hurry! Catch them before they get to town! I'm just a visitor, looking the place over. Yeah, well, nobody's supposed to be around here. I'll have to take you to the boss. Hey, Pete!
Gene, come over. Let me have the wheel. That finished him. We'll make sure. Anyway, we gotta get those films. Now's our chance. Hang on to those films, Snapper. I want to see them. Let's go. No sign of them. They must have jumped. How about the films? Not there. You'll have to get back and tell the boss. Can get away with the plates. If they're developed, they'll know we have our latite here. We'll have to leave. Move everything. Get all the men. Arrange for a seaplane. Hurry. No good. It's all fog. Now, let me see that. That film's not fog. That's caused by some radioactive material. Like ornithite? Yes. Ornithite is the principal ingredient used in Borov's disintegrating gas. Then you think that... Borov makes the gas at the kelp plant. Coast Guard headquarters, Captain Boyle, please. Commander Boyle speaking. Arnotite. Yes, sir. I'd suggest a raid immediately. Right. Commander Boyle sending a raiding party immediately. I'll meet them near the kelp plant. I'll go with you. No, you better stay here till the fight's over. Oh, boy, I'll get my tripod. That means you too, Snapper. until I sent for you.
wrong? My truck stalled. Delgado to come back. Stay behind. And when the Coast Guardsmen get in the plant, light the fuse and make you get away. 
All right, men. Stop firing. Out the back way. Anybody? They must have gone. Let's go inside. Oh! Chief! Chief! Cover! Scott, take charge! Yes, sir. Come on, man!
any minute. I don't see anybody. They must have gone. Let's go inside. Disintegrating gas. This is just what we need, Gene. We'll rush it to Dick's laboratory. Careful now, Dick. This stuff is deadly. Well, I can handle it all right. I can finish my analysis now. Poor off is bound to miss this gas. And knowing you're mixed up with it, he's not going to make a desperate attempt to recover it. I'll arrange with the police to have this place guarded. I don't think that's necessary. Nevertheless, I will. Come on, Gene. I'll drop you at your office. Go so long, sis. Bye, Dick. We have sufficient gas to fill Mauravania's order. But the problem is how to ship it. I hope we didn't leave any of the gas behind. We got them all. I checked in 199 cartons. 199? You fool. There were 200. And if they analyze it, they'll be able to make a ton of gas. Take Thorg and destroy the land entrance. That meddling Kent might find it. It's too bad it wasn't him I shot instead of his brother. I get black on the short wave set. Guardsmen, has some of our gas. And it's up to you to see that it is not analyzed. Here are the orders. Take your men and go to Norman's laboratory immediately. W-A. W-A. Four. Four. And that completes it. Now, unable to formulate a counter type of gas, I need a hammerlock, type 4B compressor. I'll have it delivered for you. Good. You can get it at the Bell Tech Supply Company down the street. Fine. That's him. I'm sending a compressor for Mr. Norman. When it comes, pass it in. Yes, Lieutenant.
to the loading dock. Wait till they get in the truck. For a guy named Norman. Is this the place? Oh, yeah. Bring it in. Thanks. All right, bring it back. Come on. Come on. Come on back. Hold there. Okay. But be careful. Where's the nearest hospital? Why, two blocks down, turn to your right. What happened? The compressor fell. Take one of my men. Send him to the hospital. Company painted on both sides. 
The men driving are believed to be armed. That is all. Some more, right? Look for those boys. We better not be seen. Anyway, well, that's Lieutenant Kent of the Coast Guard. Come on, let's get him. Thank you. 
fix them all right. Off the road, boys. We better not be seen. Hey, who is that monkey anyway? Well, that's Lieutenant Kent of the Coast Guard. Come on, let's get him. Never get out of that. It won't help any to keep walking up and down. But if I only knew something about Dick. Dick? His left shoulder is broken. Painful, but not serious. Terry, do you think it was Boroff's men? Yes. He must have found out Dick was developing a counteractive gas. I'm going to phone the story to my paper. I'll be right back. Keep an eye on Dick Snapper until the guard arrives. Don't let anyone near him. You betcha. Regain consciousness, Mr. McGee. All right. Now listen, Boris. All right. Don't be excited. Let's talk it over. Now tell me, what are you worried about? My government cannot permit further delay. The disintegrating gas must be on Moravania on schedule. The gas will be aboard the steamer Agura. She arrives in Moravania three weeks from now. But the gas is still here. The gas will be on the Agora. I have arranged it. How is he, Doctor? He came through nicely. Nothing to worry about. Oh, Doctor Me. A capsule of radium has disappeared. Stolen? Not likely. Perhaps misplaced. Get the electroscope. Electroscope? It's an instrument that's sensitive to radioactive substance. Would you care to watch it work? Well, yes, if it won't be in your way. Not at all.
You see, the needle will swing in the direction of the radio. It can't be very far away. The action is very definite. Why, it's following you. Is this it? Yes. Where did you find it? Just something I picked up. Doctor, will these electroscopes detect any radioactive substance? Certainly. Even arnotite? Why, yes. Are these instruments available? All surgical instrument houses have them. I wonder if I might borrow this one for a few hours. It's a little irregular, but go ahead. Take it. Thank you. The disintegrating gas is sufficiently radioactive to register on the instrument. Yes, but suppose Borov has that gas stored in lead tanks or possibly deep underground. Well, he'll have to move it. And if we cover every avenue of transportation, maybe we can find out where it is. Yes. Or is the speedboat ready? Yes, sir. All right, we'll shove off. All right, sir. She's all loaded. Very well. Start at once. This is the Augura's position. Transfer the gas as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. Get 
back after the launch.
out and stand by. Keep your eyes open. If anything happens, use that gun. Aye, aye, sir. Get him. Guardsman has gone into the small cave. He will never escape Thorg now. alive. I have use for him. Where's Kent? Well, go get him. Borov wants him. Thorg nearly drowned him, but he's coming too. <coughs> this is most opportune. Why? You might as well surrender, Borov. You can't get away from the Coast Guard. With your help, I think it is possible. My help? Yes. And if I refuse, I suppose you intend to shoot me like you did my brother. No, my friend. His was an easy death. You shan't be so fortunate. Take him into the storeroom. Stand guard, and the rest of you clear out. We've got it, Gene. We've got it. Do you think we'll be on time? Of course you will. Snapper, open that valve. Snapper, call the airport to have my plane ready. We've got to get this counter gas to Terry. Commander Boyle speaking. Go ahead. This is Bora. Your Lieutenant Kent is my prisoner. And if you value his life, all activities to apprehend me must be suspended for the next 24 hours. Kent will die if you interfere. There is no alternative. This is final. Boroff and his kind must be annihilated regardless of cost. That's what Kent would want. Contact the boat. Boyle speaking. No, sir. Lieutenant Kent has not returned. Continue to stand by and report all occurrences. 
Patrol boat is proceeding at full speed for Gull Island. Moore, signing off. We'll call back in 10 minutes. Lieutenant Kent, sir. Stand by to help him aboard. Why, aye, sir. Coast Guard troop boats bearing down on us. We'll be ready for them. Get the gas cartridges. With your permission, sir, I will lead a shore party to storm the cavern. I would suggest the patrol boats stand by off the cave's entrance, blocking their retreat. Issue rifles. Why, it will be as you say, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. Place the gas cartridges at every strategic point I have mentioned. And be sure the connections are well made. You will soon have an opportunity to really witness the power of this gas. Boats firing at the sea entrance. What of it? They can't reach us that way. Go outside and signal when the shore party has entered the gorge. There will be a big surprise waiting for them.
escaped himself. Thank you. 